On January 10th, your Cold Lake Ice took on the Lloydminster Bandits in what proved to be a great matchup. It was Lake City GM night in the rink, and we will get more to that in a minute, but first, the first period. Late in the first, Michael Harbick would break down the wing against the Lloyd D and protect the puck and get an easy shot on net, where Zach Sylvester picks it up in front and tucks it home for the 1-0 lead. So it was Lake City GM sponsorship night. They showed the 2014 all-new Silverado. Definitely a great truck. Go check it out. So uh, the Bandits did tie it up late in the first period, but Devin Haskar will actually get his first goal with the ice here as he knocks the net off but gets it past the goal line before it comes off. However, Brody Pollard would beat out Kurt Franklin and rip down the wing and get it past David Ruff's short side. The ice are up 2-1. Moving into the third and the ice would once again take the lead as Dallas Ansel would move the puck down low to Devin Haskarl who was hot all night. He'll get it in front of the net and get it right back from Tanner Corbeil. The ice are up 3-2. After the puck bounces around in front of the net, Anthony Regnier will take a weird shot off the back of the net that finds Kirk Chief who gets it top shelf on David Rupp. Ice are up 3-2. This one would end up in overtime as the, the both teams tied 3-3. Dallas Ansel gets robbed right here. And we'll now move into the double OT period, 3-on-3. Three three, and Zach Sylvester absolutely demolishes with a hit from behind. That will result in a 5-minute major in which Dallas Ansel actually shorthanded 4-on-3, busts up the wing, a ref gets taken out, and he'll take a weird angled shot on net, gets on the back of the goaltender, and the Ice win this one 4-3 in double overtime, avenging the 4-3 double overtime win by Lloyd. It's been a spectacular season series. Each team gets two wins apiece, both actually having 4-3 double OT victories at Imperial Place.